Hey there YouTube, I'm Brian and this is Brian Builds and today we're going to be looking at the uh, Black Panther from Metal Earth. It's part of the Marvel lineup. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's go to the stats and then straight to the build after that. All right. The Black Panther is a fictional character created from Marvel Comics by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. He made his first appearance in Fantastic Four number 52 in July 1966, giving him the distinction of being the first major black superhero in American comics. In 2018, he was the subject of a self-titled film as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The film would go on to win several accolades, including being the first superhero film to be nominated for an Oscar. This model has an expert rating and consists of three sheets with 40 numbered parts. There are eight du duplicates, two of which are leftovers, making a total of 46 parts into the build of this model. When completed, it is 3.15 inches wide. 2.76 inches deep and 6.69 inches high. Alright, so what did I think of this build? Well, 
I have first and foremost the same problem everybody has with this one, and that's proportion. So you look at this guy, and the legs are really skinny. Uh, they're not too too bad. We you follow up them, they're actually really well proportioned themselves. It's just with the rest of it. And the problem comes from these arms being so big. They put a panel here on the bicep that bulges it out. And you can see it real good there. Just how much, how thick that arm and that shoulder is. And that's really where the problem's at. They put this panel on here on the bicep here to bulge it out. And then for the shoulder, they just got this really simple tube. It's like four wedges. Uh, you... You shape them, give them kind of a round shape, cylinder shape, and then you put the the edges, edges the tips of the uh, wedges together to give you this macaroni shaped tube. This is just an elbow tube, and you stick it on there. I think I think if they do just two things differently, uh, it would have really change this model drastically. First off, put a a panel here in the chest where the tube can stick into, and so the the shoulder gets pulled in because you see he's got this really just really ridiculously wide shoulder and I, I don't think it would look as bad. I think then if they had also put panels maybe on the front of the thigh and on the side just to kind of thicken that up a bit. And I think just between those two things people wouldn't complain about portion at all wouldn't really notice it so much. The other thing that I don't like that they did is the neck. The neck's really, really long in the front, uh, not so short in the back, pretty reasonable, but he's got a really, really long neck, and then his head's got this upwards tilt, and basically, so when you look at him head on, he looks like he's offended. Uh, it almost looks like, he, you know, you grabbed a water bottle, went head kitty, and sprayed him right in the face. So, yeah. Other than that, though, he's not a bad-looking model. Uh, the proportions aren't, aren't too far off. Uh, the only other thing they did build-wise I don't like is they tried to do it so you can put the tabs inwards. And you can see on this leg, I tried doing it. You're supposed to bend almost all the tabs around and inwards to hide them because they don't want any of this, this shiny silver on the outside from the paint wearing off the tabs. You know, they're trying to keep the Black Panther black, and I get that. But structurally, it, it's not sound at all. So I went ahead after trying on this. This was the first step, this leg here. I, I just wasn't caring for how that went. So I went ahead and I built it with all the tabs out, built it normally. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I, I really, a couple little spots on the chest here and down the arms where the paint wore off a bit or it would just happen to be silver tab, silver side up. Yeah, doesn't look bad though. I don't think it really interferes that much with the build. I'm actually really happy with it. So. The challenge rating from this model, I think, comes from mostly from putting the tabs inwards. And I think, you know, just doing them normally, just having them on the outside, going to severely lower that, that challenge rating because he wasn't that hard of a build. Uh, in fact, I had one guy on YouTube ask me, or not YouTube, um, Facebook, on the Facebook page, ask me, I heard this was harder than the Iron Man. Is, is that true? Uh, answer is no. No, this was not harder than Iron Man. This was actually a lot easier. How much, I can't really gauge, because Iron Man was one of my first builds. Uh, but Iron Man had a bunch of panels on the outside uh, that you had on, had onto the parts, either before you shaped it or after you shaped it. That really increased the difficulty, plus how the upper body and the lower body fit together was really, really tough. Uh, you don't have that with Black Panther. It's a pretty straight build. Uh, and then on top of that, there's a huge size difference. I actually broke out Iron Man here. So... Let's take a look at them real quick side by side and you can see just how much taller I've got platforms touching you can look just see just how much taller Black Panther is than Iron Man uh, so just being a bigger model and having more room to work with made him so much more simpler he's, he's not more difficult um, yeah but he's not too bad of a build I got him I was kind of afraid of the legs I can see why people have been saying things about it uh, but I got him because I got all the other Marvel ones. So I'm not going to leave him out. Uh, and he is a cool character. He's a cool looking model for the most part. So, yeah. That's about it. Um, as far as update for is the uh, the next one up is Soundwave. I got him laid out. I already started on him. So, uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, section by section build of him. You'll see videos drop. It'll be a leg. 
and then another leg and the rest of you know and it's gonna come out piecemeal i have decided however that when it's all done i'm gonna go ahead and do one long build video uh so you'll get to see from beginning to end uh stop motion build of, of this model i just think hey hey be cool to watch i am already got all the video i'm already gonna have put all the time in so why not um but that's all about i got it's about all I've got. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied. It's a little, little early in the morning here. Um, yeah, so that's it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the Soundwave build. And until then, uh, have a great day and enjoy the build.